guys all right this is my first prototype 7 kilowatt uh, pure sine wave inverter uh, Victorodial and now I do the MOSFET selection what MOSFET suitable my application right now I'm use a uh, Cicron Cicron pads uh, he has a very rugged application the voltage is 100 and uh, the most important is uh, RDS on is 4.6 milli ohms the maximum is 200 amps so follow the data sheet the maximum uh, package limit is 130 amps continuous so I decide to parallel 6 each gate each channel 6 6 6 and 6 6 so the total is uh, uh, 24 pads to here uh, 24 pads um, this is a harness the harness I do the multi multi-strand cable the multi-strand cable uh, the good for power balance the each pad got the balance current you see that the each pad make sure the MOSFET uh, the current balance and the each cable is, is a 2.5 milli 2.5 milli cable so and then the positive also same you put fuse 180 amps uh, SPWM drive and the center is a totem pole a totem pole uh, transistor and this is a twin toroid I connect the parallel each toroid uh, capable drive to 4 kilowatts 4 kilowatt each ok the 4 kilowatt each so the, the toroid capable run to 8 kilowatt but today my driver only support 7 kilowatt only uh, the voltage is 237 uh, the battery pack I'm using pylon Pylon Life PO4 and uh, Life PO4 16S. So the voltage is float 58 volt. And uh, uh, okay, the test load. Uh, the test load is a uh, two kilowatt kettle, two point two kilowatt kettle. One kilowatt iron, one kilowatt heater, one kilowatt heater, eight hundred watts uh, thermal port. So oops. I will turn on together all approximately approx about six kilowatt, I think. And you see the temperature pads is good or not because I have a lot of MOSFET selection here. So I decided to use uh, Cicron pad because it has a uh, good my characteristic. Okay, another another choice is a uh, Hawaii HY. HY381OP also can use but the amps is little bit low 180M and the RDS is 5 milli, milli ohms 5 milli ohms little bit high I think not suitable and then the next choice is a RFB41OPBF okay this pads is very expensive uh, also hard to find because right now uh, all supplier not don't have stocks 
the voltage is 100 and the 4.5 milliohm maximum minimum is 3.7 is very good and uh, uh, package limit is 120 m continuous okay this pad also good but uh, a little bit expensive and uh, the best choice is a uh, HY YE 400 AP it's a very very good choice for run a high power M inverter the RDS on is a 2.9 milliohms 200 amps at 18 volt still acceptable because I only design inverter is 48 to 16 volt my live PO4 volt uh, live PO4 battery always go 58 volt so uh, active volt is more enough suitable and I always use this pad because right now Hawaii also don't have stock the stock limit and high, uh, the price also high so the the right choice for my projects uh, I'm select the Sikron MOSFET Sikron MOSFET is here is a 100% original so let's try turn on the 6 kilowatt load guys let's turn on the one by one until got the 6 kilowatt and see what happen okay 2 kilowatt 3 kilowatt and 6 kilowatt 6 kilowatt what is good? No sex. 131 amps. Okay, now the voltage 200, 200. Steady, no sex. At 5, uh, 6 kilowatts. One. So let's take the temperature heat sinks. The pads is 37, 38, 38, 36. Look normal because it's uh, six kilowatt continuous. Forty three here, forty three, forty three, thirty nine, thirty eight. Okay, I got the two fans here, front and rear, give the better cooling. Okay water start boil and see here take let's take the temperature pads not rise to be high maintain 42 45 now see look good look good at the 6 kilowatt 6 kilowatt load and the uh, voltage also maintain 235, 37, 36. Alright guys, the MOSFET evaluation of SSF 1000C has been finished and run perfectly. Continuous 6 kW, no issue, no heat at all. But remember, you must fit the fans coolings every time you load the high wattage all right so my decision the citron mosfet is very good for 6 kilowatt 48 volt application so you don't regret build it but the pad must be uh, 24 pads okay 24 pads uh, parallel 6 each and uh, six and six so you can run six kilowatt no issue okay the ssf citron has successfully but now after this i want run the irf 4110 pbf to the pads because the RIFB 410 PBF have very low RDS on, only 3.7 milliohm. So I have, I have uh, 
40 pieces each now the IFB the new and original and expensive and I also with my custom made Toro deal 7 kilowatt is a very big Toro deal and this Toro deal only 4 kilowatts so the the testing practice not suitable if I parallel the two transformer because uh, efficiency is not very good uh, okay, so wait the next video. The next video, I will remove all these pads and attach a new pads RFB four one one O PBF uh, until my uh, custom made uh, Toradio transformer seven kilowatt finish, and then we will shoot the video. Uh, I will try run to seven kilowatt shot. All right. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.